Hello everybody! It is Trish and I am back from Ireland. Now I was only there for about 12 days but you're gonna see the videos over a series of a month because I release them every week. But I just wanna say if you're not from the country of Ireland, please put it on your bucket list to go. It is amazing. If you are from the country of Ireland, thank you for your hospitality and y'all have the most amazing country in the world. It is absolutely breathtaking. So again, I thank you and I am so happy to have had the experience, but I'm just as happy to be back here at the links at Boynton Beach to help you with your golf game. So while I was gone, I had a viewer make a request about asking me when I release the club throughout the swing. So of course, my brain being the brain that it is, y'all don't wanna be in my brain, I thought, well, do I release it there? Or do I release it there? I don't know, what do you think? The reality is, if we use the word release, okay, our brain goes into a different mental picture. Releasing means we have let go of something. We've let it go. I don't wanna let go of the golf club. I'm swinging it. If we change our mindset and we simply allow the club to be swung with our arms in the direction of the target to the finish, we will release the club, okay? The club will do what it is supposed to do. So I'm gonna give you a visual for this. I'm gonna put a golf club right here. We're gonna call this 12 o'clock, okay? I'm gonna put a golf ball right here at 12 o'clock. I'm then gonna put a golf ball at three o'clock, so right about there, okay? Then I'm gonna put a golf ball at six o'clock, right there. I'm sorry, nine o'clock, okay? So we're going 12 o'clock, three o'clock, 12 o'clock, nine o'clock, okay? Six o'clock would be back here. So if I were to take this club and address the ball, as I usually do with everything in the center and balance, and I swing the club to toe up at the three o'clock position, and I were to turn and face this club, you would see that I am exactly where the club is, or where the ball is. I have returned to the address position. Now, if I were to do that to the nine o'clock position, and I turn and face the club, I again am now set at the address position. Watch my hands when I do this. 12 o'clock, three o'clock. Have my hands turned over? Nope. Back to 12 o'clock, nine o'clock. Have my hands turned over? Nope because if I allow my hands to turn over, my body has not responded, but the club has stopped swinging and I've created a lever. So the reality is I swing the club forward with my arms in the direction of the target, my body responds and the club moves freely in the direction of the target to its completion, to the finish. That makes sense? So I wouldn't so much think about release as I would maintaining a swinging motion forward in the direction of the target. It works, who knew? So anyway, thank you so much for your support. Don't forget, come and see me here at the links of Boynton Beach. We are here to help you improve your game. 
Until next time, please stay safe, stay healthy, and of course, keep it in the short grass.